types of well data necessary for geological modeling. What are the types of well data we need for modeling? Actually, there are several types of well data that can be uploaded as that depends on the availability in each well. Actually, data quality and quantity has an impact on the model value. As more unedited quality data are available, then more reliable and representative they are. However, fields with many wells with a lot of data has a positive impact on volume uncertainty and results robustness. On the contrary, wells lack of enough data are considered as poor samples for reservoir modeling. So what are the types of well data that we need to build a geological model? Before we upload any well data, let's go through the types of well data that we can upload in our project. Here you can see under well X, a lot of data folders with subfiles containing a lot of data. Let's start by deviation data. It's the file that contains deviation and inclination angle of deviated wells. Then let's go to core data. Core data represents the key data for reservoir modeling and it includes core analysis, core gamma ray record, core photos, and core samples. Let's start with core samples data. If you click on the file, you will see that core sample number in this column, top and bottom of each sample, you know it's better to upload the core sample list to your project so that you can visualize the reservoir intervals of interest per core sample. Then we come to core gamma ray record, <coughs> open the file, which is defined as spectral gamma ray, as the record includes the three radioactive elements logs common on the rocks, as you see in the sheet we have the measured depth, core sample number, total gamma ray, thorium in part per million, uranium and potassium percentage. Maybe you ask why do we need core gamma ray log when we do have gamma ray from wireline record? Well, it's essential for vertical depth shift between core and log because you cannot work on the model with two depths core and log, you need to shift core data depth to match log depth. Next, next, let's go to core photos. As you can see, there are two types of core photos, daylight or normal light, photos and ultraviolet or ultra, ultraviolet photos. Let's check the first one. As you can see, photos are placed on a plate with light projection and density degree enough to make the rock very clear and visible for the eye. These photos enable you, enable you to quickly Look at, at rock characteristics such as color, hardness, texture, sedimentary structures, microstructures, fissures, fractures, faults, and most importantly, porosity types. However, it's good to have vision on the rock when you are correlating or propagating properties so that it helps to interpret changes on logs behavior through depth. For example, if you see intervals with dark shell, then gamma ray log would record higher values than 60 API. Another example, when porosity log records high values, you expect to see visible porosity such as VUX in case of carbonate. The other photos are known as ultraviolet, and they are not less important than the first one, as core samples have been shot using ultraviolet light. It's used to identify fluids within the rock, I mean hydrocarbon, and also characterize the com and confirm fluid contacts. <coughs> Finally, let's come to core analysis results, which include RCA or, or routine core analysis and SCAL special core analysis. Let's go through RCA first. It includes measures of porosity, permeability, bulk density, and grain density. All these values are measured in the lab on plug samples ranging in length from one inch to one and a half inch. These analyses are valuable data because it can be used for quality control for porosity and density logs. There is another core analysis known as special core analysis and we will talk about it in another video.